Hey, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd. I've got some things to update you on, so it's time for another nerd vlog. Are you ready? Go. First up, out of the gate, it was an interesting issue I had with my GMAX 1.5 XT. I was testing the Matter Hacker's Matter Control Touch, and and I had prints that were stopping right in the middle. So this was gonna be a vase, but as you can tell, it's not too tall. Look at my thumb is taller than that. I don't want a thumb flower. And I thought, well, maybe the G code was a problem, right? So I pulled the G code and I looked through the G code and the G code was not a problem. Um, I found out, and this is interesting, the, the RJ45 connector that connects to the, the carriage as it moves across across the x-axis, it, it just, it became unseated a little bit. And all the times I've been playing with the printer and moving things around and swapping things out, I, I, I eventually, or I, evidently I did not, I did not seat it properly. So it just came just out a little. So as it got to a certain part in the print, the wire, everything, I don't know, the moon aligned with the stars and it just popped out just a little bit. So I was able to fix it and print something to completion, thank goodness, because do you know what it was? It was this! <laughs> Look at that. It's huge. It's the Superman or Supergirl S. I mean, it's it's huge, right? Here, put it next to my head. I have a big head. I have a bigger S. This is printed in Color Fab PLA. It's very red. It was printed at 0.2 millimeter layer height. It was printed at 60 millimeters per second on the GMAX 1.5 XT. It's it's really cool, it's about that thick. Um, there was a slight, slight problem on lift. It lifted up just a little bit from the bed, but other than that, this is solid. Ooh, ooh, it's cool. I It's just cool. Yeah, ready, ready? I've been playing around with exotic filaments on my Flash Forge Creator Pro. Ever since I put the treated nozzles on it, I'm, I, I'm able to put more different types of filament through it. One of them that I put through is Protopasta's stainless steel filament. And uh, it's kind of interesting. I had an issue where I, I moved the filament tubes to different spots and it wasn't, they weren't the right spot. So as it was going around, the stainless steel filament uh, got jammed and it it didn't it didn't turn out right but look at that this is the decepticon logo uh but look at that you can see the infill you can see the infill in the model so it printed it printed these flat surfaces and then and then because it got jammed it continued to print but nothing came out of the extruder so it still looks cool this looks pretty cool right i think this looks cool thankfully while this one is cool this one is much, much cooler. This is the official stainless steel, Protopasta stainless steel Decepticon logo. And it, it I, I don't know of any other way to describe it other than it feels, it feels metallic. So, so after this is done printing, I took some sandpaper and I sanded down the top. I know there's other ways and other things I can do to finish this even further, but, but this, smooth it is it is metallic smooth and it feels it feels metallic but because it's not solid it's it's light it's very very light it's still heavier than something printed in plastic the same size because of the the metallic bits in it however however it's i don't know this is cool oh i wish i wish you could feel this because it it feels crazy. This is just cool. This is this is printed in the Proto Pasta stainless steel, and it's amazing. If you ever get your hands on that filament, you you won't be sorry. In fact, a link to the filament I'll put in the description. Pick it up. It's it's incredible. This is good stuff. Not stopping there. If I printed a Decepticon logo, I should probably print an Autobot logo. So I did. This is the Autobot insignia in Proto Pasta's carbon fiber filament. And it, it is, this is cool as well. It's not smooth like the stainless steel and you can't, you can't 
sand it like the stainless steel, but it has it has its own properties. It is stiff. It's stiff like the stainless steel, but it's but it's carbon fiber. Oh, I wish I wish you were here. I wish you could feel this. I wish you could feel them both. I want you to feel things. Feel, feel. Again, this is with the proto pasta carbon film. If you if you can get your hands on that filament and print with it, you won't be sorry. I will put a link to it down in the description as well. That was a quick vlog. Hopefully you're okay with that. We talked about the uh, the problem I had with the G Max and how it was my own fault and I fixed it pretty easily. We talked about we talked about the Proto Pasta stainless steel filament. Link down in the description for where you can find that. I, we talked about the Proto Pasta carbon fiber filament and there's a link down in the description for where you can find that as well. Lastly, we talked about the ColorFab filament printed Superman Supergirl S and how it is awesome. Oh, that's fun. Hey guys, I enjoy doing these vlogs, keeping you up to date on what I'm printing. Give me a thumbs up if you think this is cool, if you want me to continue doing this sort of thing. I like updating you in the vlogs and if you like it as well, then I'll, I'll keep doing it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. I've got some cool giveaways planned and I'd hate for you to miss out. And as always, High five.